Day. Pastor Tom down here in Edmonds, Washington. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, um, I'm always looking for the challenging people. So I'm looking for people that look like they don't have any interest in God at all. I want to prove a lot of you out there wrong. We often judge a book by its cover and we think, well, that guy with all the piercings and tattoos or whatever. He wouldn't be interested in God, so I'll look for the little old lady. I want you to know there's all kinds of people out there waiting to hear about Jesus, and you have no idea who they are. Don't let the outside distract you. Walk up to them and give them the opportunity for salvation. So that's what we're going to do. Pastor Tom here, and what's your name, sir? Austin. Austin. Met this awesome guy named Austin. And what's your name? Connor. Connor. And Connor, you've got a Northwest uh, uh, um, tribal kind of deal on your is that like from yes. a totem or something um no it's from a spiritual experience that i had okay all right so your name was connor was it yes connor so uh i was asking these two guys if they had any issues with pain and uh, back pain anyway it ended up that we were looking at connor's legs and he has a leg that's shorter than the other is that right yep you saw it yourself yep so i'm gonna have you film this okay okay so what you got to do is i don't have a viewfinder so you just point the camera in the direction of the action okay so okay so Come down here, man. I want you to look. I'm going to push your heels in. Now I want you to be like that. Okay. All right. Connor, right? Now, are you ready for this? Yeah. Now, I'm going to... Sometimes people on the internet, they think that we that do this, they think that we pull uh, the shoe off halfway and make it look like it, but you're going to know because I'm not going to pull your shoe. Are you ready for this? Connor, relax. Real good. Yeah. Connor, am I pushing in? No. No, am I pushing in? Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Are they even? Yeah. A minute ago, they were three quarters of an inch off, weren't they? Yeah. They're exactly even, aren't they? Yeah. All right. Did I fake that? I don't think so. Did I fake that? Not that I know of. How do you explain that? I don't know. <laughs> Is that awesome? That's pretty cool. That is awesome. Yeah. That's the power of God. And I've seen uh, tumors disappear. I've seen people's backs straighten up that were crooked. Uh, lots of pain disappear. But that's just to show you. I, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I just like to show people the power of God. And the reason God does that is because He loves us. Okay. So He wants to heal people so that they understand He's a, He loves them. He doesn't want them in pain. You don't have pain. So... You're cool, but you're not going to have that, the back problem because later on in life, when you have a short leg like that, your back ends up thrown out, you know? So anyway, you guys, I'm just spreading a little bit of the love of God. I gave you my card. Mm -hmm. Do you guys, either one of you guys, I kind of, I'm doubting, either one of you guys, are you Christians? Uh, I don't follow organized religion. Okay, how about you? Yeah, me either. <clears throat> All right. Um, so, promise you, I'm not a pressurer. That's, I'm not a salesman. I just give people opportunity, okay? So, here's the deal. Is God had me... Uh, meet you two guys today because he loves you guys he really does even if you don't know him even if you aren't looking for him mm -hmm. and uh, Jesus is knocking on your heart on the door saying would you like to let me in because I'd like to come into your life I'd like to bless you make you mine uh, you know give you a part in the kingdom of heaven so that's what Jesus is doing right now that's why I met you guys that's why you just saw a miracle before your eyes that you can't really deny that really mm -hmm. happened so I'm just giving you the offer you could say no I'm not gonna push you Jesus is not going to endure your heart. He says he wants to save you. He wants to be in your life. Would you like to ask him in? Yeah. <laughs> you are awesome. And you, you don't have to say yes or no. I mean, whatever you want. I don't want to push. No, I'm good. All I right. Believe in God, but That's good. That's it. Jesus uh, is going to do something really great in your life. Now, your name is Austin. Yeah. Okay, Austin. So here's the deal, Austin, is there is a huge spiritual transaction that's about to take place. You're going to step out of one life into another, out of the, what's called the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. You're going to be filled with the Spirit of God, and uh, you're going to be saved, and Jesus is going to start communicating with you, and He's going to want to grow you spiritually, okay? Now, that all sounds pretty out of this world, but it is, because I was like you. I wasn't brought up in church either, okay? Mm -hmm. So I know what that's like, and I know what that taking that step is like. So all you have to do, though, I'm going to, I'm going to lead you in some words, is 
you don't have to say magic words. You just have to say words with sincerity, mm. and God hears your sincere heart. Okay? You ready for that? Okay. All right. So say this after me. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. And I believe that Jesus is the Savior. And Jesus is the Savior. So Jesus? Jesus. I ask you to come into my heart right now. I ask you to come into my heart right now. I ask you to save me from my sins. Save me from my sins. Forgive me for all of my sins. Forgive me for my sins. And make me a brand new creation. Make me a brand new creation. Make me a son of God right now. Son of God. Make me a son of God right now. I thank you for coming into my heart. Thank you for coming into my heart. I thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for forgiving me. I thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving me. And I will live my life for you. I will live my life for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's it. Now let me pray over you, man, okay? Just hang on for a second. Just kind of close your eyes for me. I'm going to pray over you. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for Austin. And right now, I just impart in Austin all the fullness of the Spirit of God. Just come upon him, Lord, right now. Just come upon him in glory. Come upon him in power. Let him feel and experience right now your cleansing power, your love, your forgiveness, and the peace of your Spirit right now. Let everything that has hindered him in his life, every dark thing that's come against him, let all that depart right now in Jesus' name. And let him be completely free in you. Right now, just release your love and your peace into him right now. Now, be really honest. What are you feeling right now? Feel good. Feel good? You yeah. feel kind of peaceful? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Hey. Thank you, and I want you to know Thank this. You. It's nice meeting you too, man. I want you to know this, man, is that um, that's the beginning of a huge, uh, a huge new life, a huge difference in your life, okay? And you don't even know the full import of what just happened, but you mm -hmm. will. But one I want to ask you, you got my card, right? Mm -hmm. Is you'll need like a, like a plant that's been planted. You need to be watered and fed a little bit so you grow up strong. Mm -hmm. So you may need some spiritual, I'm sure you do, we all do. You need some spiritual, a uh, little bit guidance uh, so that you can grow well. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to ask that, uh, call me. We'll get together. I'll take you to lunch or whatever, and we'll talk over the things you need to know, okay? Okay. All right, God bless you, man. Thanks for letting me pray for you. Yeah. And by the way, wasn't that wild seeing that leg grow? It was pretty crazy. <laughs> cool. God bless you guys. See you later.